welcome to 6 and 20 Distillery. They've been around for a while, but you might not know that they've changed locations. They're located here in the area of the village of West Greenville. So let's go in, learn more about them, and check them out. Hello everyone, this is Donald Barber with Keller Williams and the J. Michael Manley team. And today we are here at 6 and 20 Distillery with David Rad. He is the founder and CEO of 6 and 20 Distillery. David, thank you so much for your time today. And uh, so let's get to the good thing here. Tell us a little bit about the different kinds of spirits you have to offer here. Thank you. We have wonderful things that are really meant to represent South Carolina. All the grains that we use, South Carolina grown, they're locally sourced with the uh, South Carolina Farm Bureau. And what we like to do is just kind of walk through our lineup. Um, if you come to our distillery in, uh, in Poe West, you'll see that we have our core four products. And these are what you'll find most in liquor stores. So our Carolina Cream, most popular. Some of you that are watching this have probably had it and say, oh my God, that's great. I gotta go get some more, some more. So uh, our Carolina Cream, which is natural cream, bourbon, rum, fabulous. Think melted ice cream, it's awesome. Our, our heirloom rye vodka, this is a rye vodka uh, made from black seashore rye grown on Edisto Island. Fabulous backstory to it. You really need to, to uh, come and listen to our full presentation on this. Is a, this is a vodka with character. It's not like anything you've ever had. It's fabulous. Our old money, which is a wheat whiskey, soft red winter wheat, yeah. uh, just a little bit of malt. It is fantastic. It is low intensity, very long flavor. So it, it's great to like cocktail with. This is the whiskey that my wife said, make me a whiskey that we can both enjoy. And I said, we like the same stuff. She said, no, on a Tuesday night. And I said, awesome, all right, I got it, this is it. So uh, uh, our five grain bourbon, our, 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 our second most popular product after our, our, our uh, Carolina cream, and it's made, of course, with five grains, all five grains grown in South Carolina. Uh, corn, wheat, rye, malted barley, and rice. So we're the only guys who use rice, Carolina Gold Rice. It's fabulous. It's really complex uh, uh, bourbon, much more, much uh, bigger bodied uh, and spicier because of the inclusion of this this black seashore rye, which is really spicy. Yeah. Now, if you come, you'll also see some of the other products, kind of one-offs. We, we're always making and experimenting with different stuff, uh, and so you'll come. If you come to the distillery, you'll see products like. Carolina cream, peach, Carolina cream. Oh, it's peach, it's fabulous. And, and uh, our rye whiskey, super, super popular. We can't ever keep it in stock because people just come and like get all they can. Yeah. It's, it's a sin. And our, and our rum, this is a, a, a it's called a Oak and Pearl Rum. It's made from a, 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 a black pearl molasses from the Caribbean. Oh, barrel, uh, with bourbon barrel aged. It's amazing, it's amazing. Now, David, in your last answer, you did mention a location, Poe West. So, tell us about your old location where you were for a number of years and, and now the new location. So, we have been in Powdersville, our original location, for almost uh, for about 10 years. For about 10 years. And Powdersville is where I live. Uh, uh, a, a community that we have very strong ties to. It's not, very, it's not very close to the marketplace, to Greenville, to the consumers yeah. that want to explore. Yeah. It's a little bit of a distance for them to travel. The building was older, it was an old dairy transfer station. It was great for manufacturing, not so great for for uh, hospitality, yeah. right? For showing your best foot forward. So we thought, let's get closer to Greenville. Let's really be able to showcase our products to the larger market. Uh, and the, the Po West opportunity became apparent to us. So we, we said, all right, this fits what we wanted to do. We have, we're co-located in this facility with a brewery, with a chocolate manufacturer, with a culinary school, with a, with a, with a coffee roaster. Yeah. I mean, there's so much here uh, that we're, that was a good addition to our larger, you know, uh, 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 co-location. So, um, we thought this would be great. Let us 
set up a beautiful premium uh, tasting room and cocktail experience to showcase our premium products, right? It's a good, it's a good fit, it was the ideal fit. Uh, so we thought of this location, it really worked well. I'm blessed to have a sister that's an interior designer. Yeah. And so she kind of laid out the color and the pattern and the and the textures and the and the and uh, and, and, and the total experience that we wanted to have uh, uh, for people that came in. Plus, we laid out, and as you can see behind me, kind of a open shot to the production floor. Mm -hmm. So that was the second piece of what we wanted to convey to people, not necessarily a marketing pitch, yeah. right? We don't want to give people a marketing pitch. Yeah. We want to give them an information kind of pitch, so to speak. We wanted to get consumers smarter about what they were consuming, what they were seeing, where this stuff came from, how it comes to be, and kind of really highlight our care and and and, and quality that we're trying to convey, our premiumness. Yeah. No better way than to be transparent about it, especially when you do those things. And so big windows was the pitch. Uh, you know, an open layout of our production floor was the pitch. And also being able to take people during the day. You know, if you come in during the day and we're in production like we are today. We take people from inside here where they come in and say, have you ever seen bourbon being made? And they say, I mean, who has? They always say, no. Well, come on, let's go have a look real quick. And so we go and look and, and are able to see it and kind of smell it face to face and see it happen. This, these are the things that we wanted to provide for customers. Yeah. So we couldn't have the other So um, it was important for us to do. So we took 6,000 square foot, uh, we square feet, excuse me, uh, and we, uh, you know, light, light bites to eat, merchandise you can buy bottles here and everything. It's a, it's a really, it really accomplished what we wanted to do and having something beautiful that we could showcase our products. All right, David, we've talked about the spirits and then you mentioned briefly about taking people in the back on a tour. So other than purchasing spirits, what are some other things people could buy and expect here at 6 and 20? Thank you. As we mentioned before, we wanted to really premiumize our, our customer engagement and that goes in a lot of different directions. Of course, folks can have a cocktail, they can buy the ingredients that they use to make their cocktail and get their t-shirts and shirts to show kind of Sure, they're frying six and three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we uh, we have this fabulous glassware that we sell as well. The glassware is used during our actual production process, especially those in, in tasting glasses. Critical. We wouldn't do uh, we wouldn't do our production process without the dosing and the tasting glasses. That's, yeah. that's part of our like, part of our production kit. And and those are pretty enlightening. When people get to see it and experience it for the first time, they're like, oh, I get it, I get it. Now. Uh, on Saturdays, we have these awesome tours that you can sign up for online on our website or call in. And they're about, uh, they're kind of at, at noon, at two, at four. Sign up, bring a friend, bring your family. And they are an, a, a, a real learning experience. Mm -hmm. As I said before, less of a marketing pitch and more of a how spirits are made, how do we make spirits, how are craft really well made spirits created. Yeah. And we do it and we show the whole process that the stern uh, to our guests. It comes, it starts with a cocktail, and then we go on to the tour, and then it's a tasting of all the products at the end. I mean, it's really, really something to see. Um, we, if you, if you look at our reviews for folks that participated, they're just blown away. Yeah. It's really great. Um, we've got, we've got light bites here as well that, that folks can order. Uh, but one of the things that we wanted to accomplish in this space was, as I mentioned before, this openness, kind of open spaces, being able to see the entire process, and that lends itself well to events. So this is also an event space. So we we will encourage folks that want to have events here, receptions or, or, or meetings or, or, or corporate affairs. Uh, this makes a wonderful space. We, we can come in about 150 people. We have on-site parking. We're downtown. Who has on-site parking downtown? Doesn't cost a penny and then you can walk right up. It's fabulous. But uh, we do a lot here. We do virtual events as well, uh, which are uh, virtual uh, uh, cocktail classes and things like that, and we're just starting our cocktail class program in-house here, in-house. 
So our bar team, who are exceptional uh, bartenders, I mean real craftsmen, yeah. uh, have put together these small class, hands-on cocktail classes that will accomplish starting, I think, next week, starting in the last week of October, yeah. uh, that people can sign up for online and actually not just watch someone make the, the cocktail, but a bartender will teach them how to make the cocktail, and you'll make your own. Mm -hmm. So we'll have all the mixing gear for all the people, and you sit down with some light bites, take it easy, and, and learn how to make three important cocktails in their life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, there's a host of things happening here all the time. Uh, and we're always trying to add more and listen to the customers and say, I want music. Well, we're working on that. You mentioned it with the last question about signing up for classes and all. So where can the public go for your online site and also learning more about you through social media and the days and times of a business each week? So um, the, the, the facility here is open six days a week, Monday through Saturday. 11 a.m. Uh, through Wednesday it closes at about 9 and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday closes at 10. Uh, bottle sales are only available until 7 p.m. to stay long. So folks can come into my bottle sales, up to buy bottles up until 7. Um, we have all of the information about what we do are really transmitted through our through our uh, by our um, by our social media team to a bunch of different channels. Uh, folks, some folks prefer to use uh, Facebook. We have a ton of information on our Facebook page. Very easy to find. Uh, uh, just Google, just uh, type into your Facebook search yeah. browser. You know, six and twenty distillery, uh, and follow us and. Uh, on our Instagram page, you get some beautiful visuals of what what people can expect when they when they come in here, what they want to see, uh, including some of our that's our retail partners, uh, other partners we sell our product to. We okay. encourage to carry on their shelf. They make fabulous cocktails. We love to feature them as well. Yeah. It's really important that we that we talk about our whole kind of our whole ecosystem that, yeah. we, live, that we live in. Um, well, you can sign up for tours on our website www.6and20distillery.com and it's all spelled S-I-X-A-N-D-T-W-E-N-T-Y. So finally, I'm dying to know. I know the name of your business is 6 and 20, and I know it doesn't have to deal with the time of day. <laughs> so tell us, what is the meaning behind the name 6 and 20? So you can get a sense of kind of the passion that we bring to the to the to the to, to what we do, um, how we want to give things that we love to people that we love, right? So when it came time to name the business, it was about really love, right? And so I thought back to um, uh, some some stories about love in our local history, in our South Carolina history. Yeah. And one was the story of Issaquina and uh, Alan Francis. And that story is from before South Carolina was South Carolina, but it's about right here. Yeah. And this is early 1700s and Issaquina, a Choctaw maiden, is in love with Alan Francis, a frontier trader at the time. She finds herself captured by the Cherokee, held in their camp. Now while she's held in their camp and going to be ransomed back to her, her tribe, she overhears them planning a raid on his trading post, on Alan's trading post. So wanting to warn him, she escapes, lights out, jumps on a horse and rides for his trading post. Now, they, she took a route that wasn't very common at the time, but she wanted to remember how far she'd ridden, so she knew how, how much time to warn them uh, of the attack. So she rides along and names, according to legend, places like Mile Creek and the town of Six Mile and Twelve Mile Creek and Three and Twenty River and Six and Twenty Creek, etc., all the way to the town of 96, 96 miles away, where the trading post is. She, she gets there just in the nick of time, just in the nick of time, warns them of the attack, and they, they're able to fend off the attack by the Cherokee. Um, after some bumps and bruises, of course, she and Alan Francis live happily ever after, but we like to say, if we were making spirits back then, or she did her ride today, she would call us 6 and 20, because where our original Powdersville location was, about 26 miles along her path. So it's about a love story. David, thank you so much for your time once again, and uh, I noticed your display here, so we're around the Halloween season, so whether it's 
the spirits that you can drink are the spirits here around this time of year. You'll always have a great time here. Um, you know, you've talked about the tasting and the, the pours and the events and the tours. You'll always get plenty here at 6 and 20. <laughs> Until then, we'll see you next time.